It is now 98 days after the Deepwater Horizon exploded, causing the worst environmental disaster in U.S. history. And it appears embattled CEO Tony Hayward may finally be out of a job. CBS News correspondent Kelly Cobiea is in Grand Isle, Louisiana this morning with the latest. Kelly, good morning. Good morning, Erica. BP says the company's board will debate the future of CEO Tony Hayward today, but all indications are the decision has been made and he is out. From the start, it seemed Tony Hayward could not get it right. As black oil oozed into Louisiana marshes, Hayward boldly predicted the environmental impact from the spill would be modest. Then there was this. There's no one who wants this thing over more than I do. You know, I'd like my life back. That comment stung the most, especially for the families of the men killed in the explosion. Hayward's testimony before Congress in mid-June was seen as evasive. I'm not prepared to draw conclusions about this accident until such time as the investigation has concluded. Just two days later, he went sailing on his 52-foot yacht off the British coast. Today, BP's board will reportedly try to reverse the damage by relieving him as CEO for Mississippi native Bob Dudley. If fired, Hayward would keep his $18 million salary and pension benefits. There is no doubt that he is going. It will be announced at the very latest on Tuesday. It comes as BP's work under sea is speeding ahead. The weather never turned rough enough to stop two ships from watching BP's well over the weekend. It's still in good shape, and there's no talk of collecting oil anymore, just stopping it for good. You have to prioritize what you're going to do, and obviously getting that uh, 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 pipe into the, uh, in the relief well right now is the most important uh, item we're working on. With clear skies and no storms on the horizon, BP could be ready to begin plugging the well from the top, the static kill, as early as this week, though the official timeline is more conservative. In the week of the 1st of August is when we'll, we will attempt to uh, do the static kill. Cleanup crews are due back along the coast today after this weekend weather delay, but the size of those crews so could soon begin to change. Even before the storm, they were finding less oil to skim on the surface. If that trend continues, BP and the Coast Guard say they will start to scale back on the size of these crews. Erica? Kelly Cobier in Grand Isle, Louisiana this morning. Thanks.